tutorial, I will show you how you can make a 3D simulation or animation of an erupting volcano shooting flaming hot volcanic ashes into the air. This animation or simulation uses a combination of Python and Blender to program. First, let me show you what the result will be like. I have these files, and if you see my other videos, you will know that I'm going to run this one. This is loading. Now, I just remove this. And this, I press the space bar. rotate around and have a look. As you can see, I have two volcanoes side by side. They are both erupting. The larger volcano erupted first. I have another video with a different kind of eruption where lava is spilling all over the place. In this animation or simulation, we have flaming hot volcanic ashes flying out of it due to the pressure inside the volcano. Let's zoom in and see what the inside of the volcano looks like. Let me first pause it, go back to frame 1. And let's see what's in that hole. It's a dark void where, if I press the spacebar right now, flames come out and we are burned. Now let me just zoom out again. This is the bottom of our volcano. Smoke comes after the flame. Let's just go through this volcano once. the camera view to be like this. Now, let's have a look at how we can code this. This file is already saved, so I don't need to save it again. First, let's have a look at what's in the file that I ran. As usual, I import OS and use OS.system to call this Blender link along with this Blender file. This Blender file was generated with this Python program. Let's see what's in here. The reason that I generated the Blender file first is because it takes a long time to process. First, I import Blender Python, and from math, I import sine, cosine, and pi. Naturally, we start at frame 1, 
and I want my animation to be 150 frames long. Then I go to frame 1, that's where we'll start editing. I set the road color to this one, which is a shade of blue. Now, I set the mode to objects so I can add objects to the Blender file. I select all the objects, and if there are any hidden objects, I want to unhide them. Now I select them all and delete them. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to begin with an empty Blender file. I set the sync mode to audio sync so the frames will go in sync with the audio. Here I remove any voice, voices or audios that might have been in the file. And I add a sequence editor. I define a function called select and it will basically select the vertices of an object we need. I define this function called Volcano. You can see the arguments we should pass in. Actually, these are not positional arguments, so we don't have to pass them in. Here, this is where the fire particles come out of. Hmm, let me just go back there. And I have this long list of vertices. You see, for the source of the fire particles, I have a sphere, but I want it to be a semi-sphere, or almost like one. So in the Blender file, I manually select vertices so that after I delete the vertices, we will have a very shallow semi-sphere. So I got this list by copy and pasting. Now, I want to randomize the vertices a bit and offset equals bumps, which is over here. That way, the fire particles will fly out of that sphere a bit more random. Here's where I'm creating the particles, or should I say, making the par particles come out of the sphere. And here's where I add fire to it. Oh, and I also hide that sphere, since we do not want to see that. Here, I add smoke to the volcano. In these lines of code, I am indicating to Python where the smoke should start and end. Here is where I create the volcano shape. The volcano is made up of a cone. Radius 1 is the bottom and radius 2 is the top. By default, the cone's top radius is 0. But for this Python program, or should I say for the volcano, we need a radius on the top. Here I use that select function I defined earlier to select some vertices, and I extrude them downwards. That is how we get the, let's say, you can see the top of a volcano, we have a hollow. That's how we get it. Now, over all those, I am modifying the shape of the volcano. As you can see, let's see, here I subdivide it, which is like cutting the mesh into pieces. And then I randomize the vertices a bit. Here is where I call the functions that actually creates the volcano. This is volcano number one, which is the larger one. And this is the smaller one. Here I put in the sound volcano.mp3, which I have right here. This is the floor for our volcano.
And here, I choose a position for our camera, and I also hide it. That's why you don't see it. Finally, I create the domain. And this domain is a large cube, and all of our things are in that cube. And that cube is also not visible. Now, let me run that program one more time. Let me just remove these. And I start. To set a camera somewhere so that while we are rotating, we might get lost. If we want to go back to a nice view, we can simply click the camera. As you can see, this blender this blender place is really large. Let me just zoom out. Okay, this is getting a bit hard to do, so let me just go back to the camera view. tutorial. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel. It's called NETS.edu. Today is May 23rd, 2020. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, have a look at my other videos. They might help you into programming or math. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.